Kansas Farm Bureau, the voice of agriculture. Go to kfb.org or find us on Facebook and Twitter. And we're back again. Well, we seem to be talking about a lot of statues today, but hey, we've got a lot of them and a lot of new ones going up too. Well, I had the privilege of speaking um, um, in June at the dedication of the newest statue in Gage Park here in Topeka, and that's homage. So that is a war memorial, and it is the statue of a soldier. It is magnificent, uh, done by Jim Brothers. And when I arrived, I had actually been in Smith Center that morning for filming a Home on the Range documentary. And so I got up at the crack of dawn to be in Topeka in time to speak to this. And when I arrived, I was blown away because everything was already in place. It was overwhelming, Frank. I mean, it was all I could do to keep my composure. And you've got the pipe and drums from the police department. You've got the Marshall Band. And you've got all these veterans there. And the man who introduced me that day was John Musgrave. And if you go back in our archives, you'll find the interview I did with John at the Combat Air Museum when the Vietnam Wall was visiting, um, the traveling wall. And John is a hero in every sense of the word. And I was really humbled to be introduced by him and to share the podium with him and Chaplain Reyes Rodriguez, who was just uh, also a veteran and, and it was just wonderful. So you've got to go to Gage Park and see this newest statue. And you were talking about the eagle well, there. Well, the eagle that's there, it used to be over uh, by 6th Street. Well, 6th Street at one time was Highway 40. And Highway 40 was the Victory Highway, which was in honor of World War I veterans. And so it got moved over to what has now become a uh, Veterans Memorial in Gage Park at 10th and Gage. So that little corner of the park right there at 10th and Gage is where the homage uh, statue was dedicated. And so there are bricks, you know, honoring some of the veterans and, and it's just beautiful. It's a beautiful setting. It's really appropriate right there. You know, Guilford Gage, for whom the park is named, was a Civil War veteran himself. He um, served in the Battle of the Blue and was captured there. Um, the monument at um, Topeka Cemetery of the Soldier is one that he personally bought and paid for to honor his comrades in the Battle of the Blue. So Gage Park is a really fitting place for, for this memorial. So you, you got it when you come to Topeka, or if you already live here or live in the vicinity, this is something you've got to bring your kids to see. It's really beautiful. So let's talk a little bit about the artist that created this, Jim Brothers. Jim Brothers passed away in 2013, but if a man can achieve immortality through his work, surely Jim is immortal. Perhaps Jim is best known for two projects, creating a sculpture of Dwight Eisenhower that's on display at the Capitol in Washington, and as the chief sculptor for the National D-Day Memorial in Bedford, Virginia. The small Virginia town lost more men per capita than any in the nation during World War II, and the sculpture contains 12 monumental bronzes. He did figures of Mark Twain and of John Brown as a Jayhawk. Some of his figures stepped from the pages of histories, others he imagined. Paul Durrell, who represented Jim's art, told a reporter, I saw that Jim had an ability to communicate raw emotion in bronze that I had never encountered in a regional artist. Kathy, his wife and manager, said he was a professional until the end and completed his last work only days before his death and commented on how hard he researched to know his subjects. Vietnam vet John Musgrave became his friend, called him brother. When Jim's work, Homage, a bronze of a soldier, was dedicated in Topeka's Gage Park, John spoke admiringly of his friend and of his friend's work. Jim's talent extended to music, and he was a founding member of the Alfred Packer Memorial Band. The unconventional group took their name from the legendary Western Cannibal. Jim's legacy is profound, beautiful, and communicates the soul of Kansas to the world. Yes, surely he is immortal. Well, we got to go again. I'm Frank. I'm Deb. And we'll see you somewhere around, around Kansas. Kansas. Under the rain. Closed captioning brought to you by Ag Promo Source. Together we grow. Learn more at agpromosource.com. Let me tell you, Kansas is more than tornadoes. We're the best part of Dorothy's dream. We're the best part of Dorothy's dream.
To see this show and past episodes of Ag AM in Kansas, go online to agamincansas.com.